Entrepreneurs who are launching a business always underestimate how hard sales and marketing is. And so if you want to avoid bankruptcy, you better figure out marketing, you better figure out sales. So here are 10 marketing tips for your startup. Sales and marketing is easy when you have budget, but when you're in startup, cash is tight. Or when sales are struggling, you, you literally need the money to make the money. How do you make this work? So I put together 10 marketing tips for startups that will help you hit the next level and ultimately save your business. Tip number one, create instructional videos. Put yourself in a position of credibility and to, to help the very people that you can help. If you have personality, if you know what you're talking about, if you're willing to go out there, you can shoot it on your phone. You literally can create instructional videos by doing screen desktops or by going out there on your phone and filming what it is you do. If you're a trade, if you're a service-based business, if you're a SaaS software, no matter the industry you're in, people are hungry for answers and you are in a position to give it to them. So create instructional videos. Number two, content marketing. This is the next step. Content marketing is about creating podcasts, writing blog posts, answering questions. You can either be one of the voices and be one of the leaders and go ahead and put out content, or you can just let everyone else do it and you can slowly fade into the background and out of existence. If you're visual, go onto Instagram and take those photos. If you love to interview people, create the podcast. If you're really good with video, Go ahead and do these types of videos. Content marketing not only helps with search and with ranking and with links and all of those kind of technical stuff, it puts you in a position of power. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money if you stay with the things that you are naturally gifted at. Number three, go deep into a community. You have expertise. You know what you're talking about. Look at other online communities because people are coming together around topics and you're not gonna go in there and start selling and start talking about how great your product or service is. You're gonna go in there, you're going to talk, you're gonna chat, you're gonna share your points of view and your thoughts. You're gonna answer questions. This is literally the cocktail party online. So go find the community that you can be a part of this isn't even work. Hey, let's jump online and see what's going on. You're connecting, you're having conversations. Go deep into a community, be present and be active. Next tip, hack what's trending. You're sitting in your office or you're at home or you're slaving away and working away and meanwhile the world out there is happening and everybody's having conversations and talking. Why aren't you a part of it? If a new study has just come out within your industry, read the study and take your point of view out to the market. If you find out a new data point from within your business, why aren't you sharing it? You know, like I have a client whose main job is to collect data for other clients and push things through through AI. Do you know how much learning and how much information and insight and data they actually are sitting on if they just took the time to share it? Share your point of view on what's trending, on what's happening, on what people are talking about, on the data, the insight, the things that you are sitting on. Number five, focus on emails. Email marketing is still a highly profitable activity. Sure, when you're starting, you're gonna say, I have no list. Well, focus on list building. Have everyone that you have a conversation with enter into your email list. Focus on email marketing because it's a really cost-effective way to build a community, to give a ton of value. Content marketing, it goes into email. You're podcasting and interviewing people, transcribe it and put it into email. You're doing blog posts, it can go in there. But even if you're spinning out other things that are trending, you don't have to create all the content. Email is still a great way to build a community and connect with people. Next tip, look for advertising partners. This is something that big companies do all the time. If there's anyone within your industry where you can work together, then reach out to them and ask them if you can do a co-op campaign. Maybe you're going 50-50 into the budget, but chances are if you do all of the thinking and all of the strategy and all of the work and all of the implementation, there are a lot of huge organizations or partner organizations who will actually just pay for it. You are using someone else's budget because you're willing to do all of the work. I've seen this with service-based businesses. I've seen this with technology. I've seen this with SaaS solutions. So look for the opportunity in your network to create co-op relationships where you do all of the work and they pay for your advertising. And that takes us to our next tip. Encourage word of mouth. Delight the hell out of your current customers. If you have three clients, then do everything you can to delight the hell out of them because those three clients will turn to more clients. But more than that, take active steps to build stronger connections. So give gifts, 
to your clients. If you're in e-commerce, write handwritten notes and drop it into the shipping package. Send thank you cards to people or gifts or if they give you a referral, send them something really nice. Ask people out for coffees and for lunches. There are so many ways to make connections with people by giving and then ask for the referral. If someone is having a great time with you, ask for a referral. Be specific with who you're looking for. I am looking for people like this. Do you know anyone? I am looking for people in this role or people who have this problem. Be specific with what you're asking for. Okay, two more tips. And the next one is to host an event. No matter whether you have an office or not, open up your doors. Find a space and host that event. It can be meetups or grabbing drinks or bringing in a speaker who's gonna be able to educate people. There's so many opportunities to just invite people out for a really great time to build those connections. Be the area where others come in for networking opportunities because you are the glue that's keeping everyone together. This does a bunch of things for you. It elevates you. It gives you a chance to have stronger conversations. It opens up your door so people see how you work and it builds a sense of community amongst your clients or your shoppers. For God's sake, don't make it about your specific product. Make it about all of the things along the edges. If you sell cameras, maybe it has to do with how to plan a trip for photographers. Think of a lens swap up. You bring everyone in and they all have these different lenses and people are willing to swap up old stuff for new stuff that they actually need. There's so many things you can do. Open up your doors, have an event, bring everyone in. Next tip, you can go to events. Not only just networking, but you can sponsor these events for next to no money if you're willing to barter something. You can be the guest that other events bring in because you're the thought leader and you're the expert. So you can be the speaker, you can be on the panel, you can sponsor the event. It will give you exposure, it'll help you meet more people, it'll give you credibility. And while you're at that event, give stuff away. Maybe be the person who runs a little contest or you come in just with free product and you're giving stuff away. Yes, there are some costs tied to it, but it gives you a chance to connect your product with people. When you're in startup, you need sales, you need revenue, and so you have to do marketing. I know you don't have a lot of budget to spend, so if you implement any one of these 10 tips, you will not only find out what works for you, you will get feedback, you will get insight, you will get data, and your sales will grow. If sales and marketing and scaling your business is important to you, be sure to subscribe to my channel or check out this video right over here.